In this video, we will cover how to run an enzyme print. The steps for running an enzyme print are also very similar to those for running the bacteria print assay. First, load your prepared calcium chloride syringe into the extruder. Insert the two extruder clips. Next, prime your syringe and set the Z0 position. If you are printing on the glass bed, set the Z0 to the glass. And if you are printing on a template, print it to the lowest position on the template. Finally, insert your Petri dish and print your calcium chloride file. The print will start with a priming step to ensure you will extract any air bubbles from the syringe and will then proceed to print a 3 by 3 array. Once the first print has finished, you can unload your calcium chloride syringe and load in your alginate syringe. Once you have done this, insert the extruder clips, prime the syringe by extruding until you find a bit of material coming out, and set the Z0 position for this next syringe. Once you have done this, load your alginate G-code file and print. This will again start with the priming step and print in the same locations as the previous 3x3 three three array. Once the alginate syringe has finished printing, you will repeat the same steps to print the ABTS syringe by priming the syringe, loading the ABTS file, and printing. Once you have finished printing with all three prepared syringes, you can set aside your Petri dish for 10 minutes and observe the color change. You should find a blue-green color change that indicates the enzyme substrate reaction.